In this video, you will learn how to renew your family and your troop. So let's get started. To renew your family or troop, the first thing you need to do is go to our website for our council at www.girlscoutsesc.org. Then in the top right hand corner, you're going to click on My GS. Then you'll select Member Profile. It'll take you to a login screen where you'll use the, the username will be your email address that we have on file here at Council, and your password will be whatever password you set when you received the member community logon email. Once you log in, you'll notice there's several tabs across the top. The ones that you're going to be using today would be your membership, which will show everyone in your household, your family, you have a troops tab, which will show your troop members if you're a troop leader. If you're not a troop leader, you will not have access to that tab. You'll receive an error message when you click on it. Your family profile is where you would go to change your address or phone number, um, your email address on file, any of those things. So in order to renew your family membership, the first thing I want to point out is it tells you the year that you're currently on, and that's also listed as the current year. So you can see that the membership is current for the current year. If we select next year, you'll see that this person is already renewed for the new year of October of 2017 to September of 2018. However, if you scroll down, the, uh, the additional person in our household is not yet renewed for 2018. It's letting us know that it's time to renew. So you'll notice on the right hand side that there's a drop down box and it says renew, don't renew, I'll decide later or I want to purchase a lifetime membership because this is an adult. If you are going to renew, you would leave it at renew. If you're not sure, I would always recommend that you leave it at I'll decide later. Once you select don't renew, you'll have to go through the whole renewal process over. You'll never be able to go in and renew the person. It'd be like a whole new person. So we're going to leave it at Renew. You'll also notice at the bottom of the screen, if you're wanting to add an additional member to your household, you can also do that here. Once you click that you want to renew, it does not have to collect all the information as far as the address and contact information that you would do if you had a new registration because all of that's already in the system. So it takes you directly to the screen where it wants you to confirm that you accept the Girl Scout Promise and Law. So we're going to hit Continue. The next screen you're going to get is your payment screen. On here it's going to give you a summary of what you're paying for and the amount due. It's also going to give you the option to be able to make a donation to our council. If you continue to scroll down, it asks you for your billing information. So we're going to go ahead and enter our payment information. And then we're going to hit continue. After hitting continue, it'll take you to a confirmation screen where you can print a, a receipt or you can save the receipt as a PDF. If you wanted to renew your troop, now we'll walk through that process. So if you go back to where you were initially when you signed in, looking at the tabs across the top, you're now going to select Troops. If you have multiple troops that you're the troop leader for, you will have a drop down box where you can toggle between the troops. You'll notice that it gives you a list of all of the girls in your troop as well as the adults in your troop. And it will also let you know the status of their membership. 
on the adults, it's also important to note that you can see if they have a background check on file and when it expires. In order to renew, you would leave these at renew. But you're going to renew for the next year, so you're going to change this tab to next year. Alright, so once we're on next year, it's letting us know all of these are ready to renew. And we can go through and simply decide which ones we want to renew and which ones we don't. So we're going to select the ones we want and down at the bottom we'll simply hit continue. You also have the option at the bottom where you can add an additional adult or an additional girl to your troop as the troop leader. We're not going to walk through this process but this is how you would go in to renew your troop but the process would be exactly as it is when you renewed your family previously in this video. If you have additional questions around the renewals, please feel free to contact our council at 1-800-868-9911 or by emailing us at customercare at girlscoutsesc.org. Thank you.